Hi, my name is Royal Roland, and um, I will be presenting uh, my research paper. My research is about social media as a microcosm of our society's belief system, and when improperly used, it could create negative, negative effects in the development of its users. The content that gains the most attention creates a value system in impressionable adolescents that has the capacity to be catastrophic on their self-image. Um, in order to mitigate the risk of social media, users need to be aware that these forums have the potential to become dangerous when personal information is freely given. While there is no one true way to engage in online communities, the important thing is to be cautious of the pot potential risk in being an active user. Through research, I was able to conclude that there is a substantial there is substantial evidence to support my thesis that social media has negative adverse effects and that media usage in general can negative to negatively impact the health of the subject. In conducting interviews and observing how different groups engage with media and the precautions they take in balancing the dangerous aspects of these platforms with their self-expression. Uh, the theoretical foundation of my theory includes Cass's uh, uses and gratifications theory, Carey's ritual theory, and Hall's discursive model. In Cass's theory, uh, they describe how people use media to gratify their specific wants and needs. In Carey's ritual view of communication, a symbolic shared reality presents, represents, and maintains the belief in society at the time. Hall's discursive theory states that the audience decode the message present in social media, and these decoded messages can have different intended meanings than what they were originally encoded to be. Um, in my reference, I show findings that social media does have a direct effect on body image in ways that we don't fully understand yet. The way society interacts with women, with men and women, and the way sex work is primarily seen as a female occupation, and thus a gendered topic that can be better understood by seeking a female perspective. In the remainder of my presentation, I will talk about the ways my research supports my thesis and synthesizes with the previously established data. Um, so my first code is uh, social media and body, body image. Um, the most apt theory that supports this code is the encoding decoding model as it explains why men and women have different standards attached to their social media presence and what is expected of men when, of women when posting explicit photos uh, in relation to men. Um, in my research, uh, the source by Forduli and Marengo speak about the negative effects of social media on the self-image of developing adolescents. Uh, the second code is of predatory practices. Carey's ritual view of communication aligns with the predatory practices prevalent on the social media landscape. It does so by advertising social media as a forum where opportunity is possible for everyone as long as they fit the standard presented to them. This shared reality creates a competition between women to see who is the most appealing but can go so far as to reward traditionally attractive users while punishing those who don't conform to, the sta to these standards. Um, and the sources that support this this code are uh, from Foshi and Cullenberg, and they reveal the sexist practices preceding the spread of social media. Um, <clears throat> and the third code is uh, normalizing sex work. Uh, the code is indicative of Cass's uses and gratifications theory, since the combination of both access and opportunity via social media makes the prospect of earning money on social media much easier than previously, but also comes with the added risk of releasing vital information to the public. Um, and uh, Kruger and Safai in my research present a spectrum of evidence regarding the expansion of women's access to sex work. Uh, after speaking with the subject, it is clear that there's a different level of engagement in the content women post than men, and as a young woman, and as young women, it is extremely important to stay cognizant of the potential risk involved. In my research, I was surprised to see that the subject who had the most caution when posting explicit content uh, received far less potentially, potentially dangerous interactions than the subject that freely explored every opportunity. 
Um, that concludes my presentation and I welcome any questions or feedback. Thank you.